Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use something called compare mode in Google Sheets when creating charts. And so it's a really useful way to compare multiple series against one another. And so in front of me, I've downloaded the quarterly revenue date data for each of the FANG stocks. If you're not familiar with FANG, it just stands for Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. Facebook and Google go by different names now, Meta and uh, Alphabet, but using their old names for the sake of keeping that acronym alive. So if I want to insert a, a chart here and compare these numbers, what I could do is just go to insert chart. And then let's say I want to use a, a bar chart and I want to, I want to flip these series because right now the series are organizing by, by quarters instead of by, by the companies themselves. So I'm going to click switch rows and columns. This is still not really what I want to what I want to see. What I'd rather do is stack these. So now we can see in Q4 how much, you know, Facebook made versus Amazon, Apple, Netflix and and Google. So you can look at the size of these slices to to, you know, see how big one was against the other. Um, but another thing you can do is on the customize section under chart style, there is a compare mode option so if I click on this you'll notice now when I go on the chart you know now I've got those those totals for each one of these companies right so I, I can hover over the different quarters to to easily see how much they had so if I did not have if I didn't have the, that table you know I could just rely on the chart alone and it shows me everything that I need to see all in one place and this works with other chart types as well. So in this, in this instance, I use a bar chart, but I could use an area chart as well. And the same sort of thing. Now, the one quirky thing about this is, is you might may notice as you're um, editing your charts is right now I'm in this chart editor pane. And so when I click on here right now, you know, I'm not seeing that, that tool tip show up to, to show me um, the revenue across the different companies. And so in order to, to see that, you actually have to get out of this editor just by, just by clicking anywhere on the sheet and then clicking back onto the chart so it's activated. And now you'll see those uh, quarterly sales sum numbers. So in case you're frustrated or wondering why it's not showing up, it's because you want to get out of the edit mode and then reactivate the chart. But once you've got it in there, you know the cool thing is, is as you hover over these different points, it doesn't matter which series, you'll see all of these all these numbers show up so in case you wanted to to compare them so again you can check this uh check the different charts you're using just go under the, the customize section under chart style and you'll see if it has a compare mode not all the charts will just because of the way that they're set up but for a lot of them you will have the option to to do that if you don't have a compare mode set off then you just have your regular tooltip just shows the individual individual series. So that's how I use compare mode in Google Sheets.